So this is a, a study where we uh, combine AFN13, which is a bispecific antibody construct with affinity for CE30 on uh, lymphoma cells that express this protein and C16A, uh, which is present on NK cells. So we uh, pre-complexed uh, allogeneic uh, core blood derived NK cells with AFN13 and we infused them to patients with uh, uh, C30 positive lymphomas that were dual refractory to brentuximab vidotin and checkpoint inhibitors. So patients received um, uh, fludarabine cyclophosphamide followed by uh, these uh, AFN13 NK cells which had been uh, manufactured in the GMP lab over the previous two weeks, um, during which time the NK cells that came from a unit of cold blood that was frozen and, and stored were preactivated and expanded using uh, uh, cytokines IL-12, IL-15, and IL-18. They were expanded using um, universal antigen percentage cells that were expanded more than a thousand fold. And at the end of that, those two weeks were incubated with uh, AFN13 over one hour. So patients received three days of uh, lymphodepleting chemotherapy and two days later, they received the AFN13 NK cell product. And then um, uh, they received three weekly doses of AFN13 alone intravenously. The reason for that is that uh, the AFN13 has an off rate on the surface of the NK cells of about a week. So they received three, three doses of, of AFN13 alone on day seven, 14 and 21. Then they, um, they had a valuation response on day 28, and that was one cycle. So, so patients received two cycles at the beginning of the study, and then halfway through the study, we extended treatment to four cycles. This was a phase one trial where we identified the recommended phase two dose of, um, of um, uh, NK cells at uh, 100 million um, for pay, per, per kilo uh, for, for each cycle of each patient. The treatment was very well tolerated. We saw no cases of CRS, uh, neurotoxicity, or GVHD. The infusions um, uh, were well tolerated with uh, uh, infrequent infusion-related re reactions. And we saw that it was very active with a um, uh, response rate uh, of about 95% and 78% complete emissions. We saw that the uh, NK cells were presented an activated phenotype and the uh, um, they traffic to uh, tumor nodal sites.